Hey everyone, Josh here from Predatory Plants with another installment of our Species Spotlight where we take a little bit of time to talk about a specific species of Nepenthes and uh, kind of go over its traits and what makes it special. Right now we're looking at a large specimen of Nepenthes cassiana. You can see it has two very mature vines coming up here. One tall one going all the way up and then another one tucked back in here that finishes right about there as well as a couple nice little basils here. Nepenthes cassiana is the only Nepenthes native to India. Uh, it is almost endemic there which means it only lives there. It has a couple spots outside of India but for the most part it's found in India. It's one of two Cites Appendix 1 Nepenthes. The other one is Nepenthes Raja and that means that they are listed as endangered. Uh, to import them into the country you need special uh, USDA clearance and so it's a much more tightly regulated plant than pretty much any of the other uh, Nepenthes out there. Beautiful plant. It used to be a lot more common in the United States. Uh, there were some folks who had breeding pairs of them who would make uh, additional plants from seed. Uh, I don't know exactly what happened with them, but it's not happening anymore. So uh, pretty much the only supplier that I've seen consistently release them is Borneo Exotics. Uh, this did originate from Borneo Exotics, I believe in 2010. I got this as a small plant. So I've been growing it for about seven years and it's become quite, quite massive. Talking specifically about the morphology of the plant, you can see, like most Nepenthes, the lower pitchers face, let me get this in focus, face inwards towards the tendril. So that's how you know usually it's a lower pitcher. The lower pitchers of Nepenthes cassiana have more pronounced wings. They tend to be uh, uniformly green in color. Very attractive. They have this flat lid that's very rigid. You can see the leaf uh, tends to have a deep red vein going through it. Pretty soft leaves. This is a lower elevation plant generally. There uh, are anecdotal statements that have been around for a long time that these are extremely cold tolerant. Uh, I've personally noticed that this grows much, much better in lowland conditions uh, than even intermediate or highland. So I wouldn't test that theory. Um, so they, they do have slightly thinner leaves than the, than the really hard waxy leaves that you find on, on true highlanders. The upper pitchers, let's just get a big one here, are much larger. They're much more colorful, which is actually not typically the case with most Nepenthes. Usually the pitchers get lighter in color the higher they go up. Cassiana goes from uniformly green to having this really nice red blush. Uh, a red rim around the bottom of the peristome. Sometimes it's actually kind of white and chalky. Kind of similar to Alba marginata. A very glandular surface underneath the lid. No spur to speak of on the back here. Again, the lid is very rigid and kind of bouncy. Uh, there was a recent study focusing more on, I believe, Grossilus, but it's kind of very similar to Cassiana, that the purpose of a rigid leaf like this is that bugs eating the sap underneath the lid here, like ants, uh, in the rain, uh, the rain will make contact with the lid, bounce it and vibrate in such a way that it knocks the ants down into uh, the waiting digestive fluid in there. Uh, there's also recently been a study showing that uh, these, I believe, uh, glow under ultraviolet light and in, in a very impressive way, and that that might have something to do with the plant's attraction uh, for certain kinds of insects. You can see here that the stem is very colorful with a very beautiful red coloration that then, like I showed earlier, leads to a, a red vein on the upper side of the leaves. And that's pretty much it for Nepenthes cassiana. A wonderful plant. I really hope that this stays in cultivation and uh, that we can uh, preserve it 
and, and get this hopefully, eventually, uh, much more established by either seed or tissue culture so that more people can enjoy this plant. I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, that's all. This is Predatory Plants, Josh Brown speaking uh, with another species spotlight. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, take a look at our channel for the other videos that we highlight. Thanks a lot.